Alright, so the purpose of this short video is to show how you can take Excel spreadsheets that normally you would have to print up and you can download them to Google Drive and convert them into a Google spreadsheet where you can access these on mobile devices such as tablets or your cell phone and you can even, if you have internet service, you can even edit these uh, uh, things and that way so you don't have to print things up and, and then you can later send these off. So. Uh, I'll just show you in a few quick steps how this is done. You start with your file. This is uh, some kind of spreadsheet. I'm not even sure what this, any of this really means, but uh, the, the thing is, normally, you would have to print this up and take it on your route and fill it out with pen or pencil, and uh, the reason being is you can't take your laptop into these places and a mobile device uh, doesn't run Excel. So how do you fix that? Well, the first thing that you do is you save this onto your computer. So we will just go in here and we'll save. Okay, that's our first step. The next step is we go into our Gmail account. So uh, Gmail offers you a bunch of services with their, their package. One of the services is Google Drive. And what Google Drive is, it's simply a drive where you can save things. And um, it exists on the internet. Now one of the other things important about Drive is it has a whole bunch of different um, software applications. Think of Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, uh, PowerPoint and all of that. The problem with all of these these great tools is you have to have that software to run it. So if somebody sends you a Word doc and you don't have Word, you can't open that doc. So uh, Drive fixes that by converting things from whatever they are into a format that lives on the web. You don't need any software to, to uh, use because they've got the software for you. So our next step is we're going to take that document and convert it into a Google spreadsheet. So um, to get to Drive, you open your Gmail account. You click on this little grid thing and you choose Drive. Again, this is simply another drive. It just lives on the internet. So think of your C drive. This is on the internet. At this point, I save just about everything on my Google Drive. I don't put anything on computers anymore. Kind of a trip, but it works. Okay, so then you click Upload. You find your assignment, or uh, your, your document, I mean. And let's see, mine is in miscellaneous, and it's got a very strange name that starts with S. So you click on this. Here we are. So I get the document. This is stuff you have to do on your computer at home before you go out into the, the field. You're going to have to do that. Now, when you if you've never done this before, what's going to happen is it uploads it, and uh, it's, it does not convert it. For our purposes, we have to convert this document because you won't be able to edit it if you don't. You'll be able to look at it if you don't convert it, but you can't edit it using your tablet. So if you want to actually edit this while you're at a, an account, you have to convert so we click this. I set mine. I, I, what, what would happen if you originally load this and you've never done it before is you'll see the document and then there will be a little thing there that says settings and you can set this. I strongly recommend, unless you always know you're going to convert, I strongly recommend to set it to confirm settings before each upload and then you can choose whether you want to convert or not. Uh, if you know you're always going to convert then you might as well just uh, uncheck this next one and it will always convert. So now I start the upload. Okay, see it's it's down here. So I open it. Now this looks almost identical to the old spreadsheet, just so you can see. There's the old spreadsheet on Excel. And here's the new spreadsheet on Google Drive. So so what no, this is the Excel one. Here's the new spreadsheet on Google Drive. The difference here is that your software is built into the internet so you don't have to have it. Now if you download this to your Google Drive and you name it and file it somewhere, then you can, if you have the Drive app on your tablet, you can open that and you can actually edit it. Uh, I just did a picture here. It's, I, I only have screen capture, capture software, so I, don't, I can't show you my tablet as well. But I did a picture here, and, and on most tablets and cell phones, you can download the Google Drive app. And when you do, it looks a lot like this when you open it. Here it is on iPhone. Um, works best on Android tablets because they were built for it but it will also work with the um, Apple stuff as well and when you click Drive it will open that up it will look something like this and to edit something you simply go to it 
and you end up clicking it twice and then it allows you to enter the numbers that that you can put whatever you know you want there and you enter it and the cool thing is whatever you enter out there when you have internet connection on your tablet goes to your computer at home so that you've automatically edited that document now if you wanted to ship that document out uh, and you wanted to to send it to someone and you know who else who needed to see it there's a couple different ways you could do this you could share and if you do this you can change this and you can give this to people you can share it uh, give give someone a link or share it to other people uh, another way that you could do it is the old-fashioned way um, here it is in Google you go file download as and you download as an Excel and attach that Excel to a to an um, email just like you did the old way uh, another thing is interesting here if you click file on your computer you can um, emails an attachment that's kind of an interesting one because that attaches it uh, as a Google Do oh no look it, it chooses what to attach and then you can put people's email addresses so you don't actually have to download you can do this the one thing that is kind of important to remember about a Google Doc is unlike a um, like an Excel doc there's no different versions so you know when you enter something you don't save but when I open this again my old stuff is going to be there and if I change it anybody who I shared with it changes their document in other words uh, let me try to explain this differently let's say I shared this document on 10.6 and let's say that the way that I shared it was as a Google Doc and I, I shared you know I uh, share this with somebody and they've got it as a Google Doc then I end up changing this document on 1012. If that person ever clicks their link for the Google Doc, they're going to see my new 1012 document, not the old 106 document. You know, in Excel, remember there's versions. You're going to sh share, uh, save something, and you send it to someone. That is done. It's static. And then if you later do something new and you send them the new update, they're going to probably save it under a different name or replace the old version. Google doesn't do that. So it's important if you want certain versions of this to last for the past, you either want to download this and, and attach it as an email, or you want to email as an attachment because then again it'll put it in Excel, which is a static format, doesn't change, and that way you can do a new one and, and all of this. And and of course you can you can have people in your contact list to where makes all this very easy so I, I hope that helps and and again it's, this is just kind of a cool tool uh, I like Google stuff I'm about halfway through my uh, certification to become a Google Apps trainer just because I think this stuff is really cool I mean all all the applications of this are, are limitless so I, I hope this helps you in your job and uh, if you, if you want to share this video with anybody that you think that uh, this would help them feel free uh, let me know if you have any questions thanks a lot bye bye